What's up guys, Cookie 117 back again with more Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Where we last left off, we did some things with the stuff. No, huh? hold on. What? Oh, sorry. I didn't see you there. My attention was kind of focused on the Twi'lek dancers. Look at them waggle those head tails. I don't normally what? go for these alien girls, but I've had some bad experiences with my own species lately. Maybe it's time for a change. Know what I mean? Yeah, actually, I do. No, um, you're the guy with the bounty on the Dia Head right, who are you? <laughs> really not interested. Uh, this guy with the you're bounty. You hear about that? I guess Zax must have mentioned me to you at the bounty office. Fair enough. I don't care who takes her out. Just so long as the job gets done, I can't let her get away with what she did. That witch tried to cut me with her vibro blade. What? Not the vibro blade. Blade. Uh. Why would you do because that? Because she's crazy. She started screaming that I was making advances, and the next thing I know, she's coming at me with a knife. Yeah, right. Sounds to me like she was defending herself. I admit I was drunk. Maybe I got a little fresh. But it was no big deal. She didn't have to cut me. Uh, sounds like maybe you guys uh, want the bounty to be more. I think you got what hey, you deserved. You weren't there. She totally overreacted. Um, I want it removed. What? I can't do that. Think how it would look. I work for Davik. I've got a certain reputation to uphold. I can't let her get away with this. There has to be payback. Although, I do feel a little guilty about all this. Dia's a good looking gal. It'd be a shame to kill her. Tell you what, I'll take 200 credits in exchange for lifting the bounty. Uh. Uh. Huh. Let's try to persuade him. If you hire somebody to kill Dia, wouldn't it wouldn't look like you're meant to do it? If I let her get away with it, I'll look even worse. She's got to pay, either with her life or 200 credits to buy my forgiveness. Uh, you're a dead man. I'll go talk to the uh, see if she can come up with the credits. You can do that if you want, but I doubt she's got 200 credits. That's a lot, and she's just a working girl. But that's the breaks, right? Uh, ah, for sure. Nope. Get away with it. Uh, you can we're just gonna keep doing this until I get it. I nope. You can. If I nope. You can do. If I nope. You can do that. If I nope. You can. If I nope. You can do. If I nope. You can do. If I nope. Um. You can. If I let nope. You can. If I okay, fine. Um, if I nope, okay. I'll just go talk, okay. Uh, if I nope, uh, <laughs> so, um, uh, do I want to give 200 credits to move to bounty or uh, that one? You're threatening me. Yes, I work for David Kang. If you kill me, you'll be signing your own death warrant. Do us both a favor and don't waste my time with stupid threats. Uh, that one. I nope. <laughs> oh, you're a dead you're man. Threatening. Fine. Oh, don't worry. I'll stick to my end of the bargain. I'll go tell Zax right now that the bounty is off the table. Jeez, I just lost 200 credits. Can I go kill him? Retake the credits? Let's go see. Let's go see what happens. Yeah. Oh, is that it? Okay. Right. I feel like I shouldn't have done that because now I am poor. Just like in real life. Um, what's over in here? Hello, Dantas. Don't oh, bother me. I'm looking. Okay. To get Karth, get out of the way, Karth. There we go, Karth. No, no. There we go. Oh my god, I'm keyboard turning. Uh... Hello, El Dorado. Okay, let's get outside here. And let's go kill some things because we can. I forgot which guys are the bad guys in this street war because it's been a couple days since I played this. Hidden Beck, look at. Hello, Beck. Hey, you can't just walk in here. This is the hidden Beck base. How do I know you're not a Vulcan spy sent to kill Gadon Beck? 
I'm gonna spy. I need uh, Gallant's health. I want to speak to him. I'll go wherever I want. I need his help. A lot of people want to go inside and speak to Gadden. He's a hero of the common folk. But the days of the Hidden Vex open door policy are gone. Between the Sith Conquest and the Vulcan Gang War, Gadon has more enemies than he used to. We're being careful about who we let in now. Okay, um... Maybe it could be an ally? We do need all the help we can get. And you don't look like you're with the Vulcans or the Sith. Besides, it's not like you can do anything to harm Gadon in the heart of his own base. Not with Zedra watching his back. So you gonna let me in? Go in and speak to Gadon if you want. Just remember to be on your best behavior. The hidden Vex are watching you. Sweet. Let's go talk to people. Yay. I'm in the hidden back base. Uh oh, okay, let's see what we got in here. Hello, standard door. And dead. Hidden backs. Hidden backs. Hidden backs. Hidden backs. Lots of hidden backs. In, uh, who's this? Hold it right there. Oh. Who are you? And what is your business with Gadden? Calm down, Zerdra. Nobody's going to try anything here in the middle of our own base. It would be a suicide mission. You're too trusting, Gadden. Brezhik and his Valkyrs want you dead. Anyone we don't know is a potential threat, and it's my job to make sure no, we you're safe. Now we You want us scheduled. to start attacking strangers on sight, Zerdra? Like the Valkyrs do? I will never let it come to that. Now step aside and let them pass. As you wish. You can speak to Gadden if you want, but I've got my eye on you. You try anything and you'll be vaporized before you can say Vulcar spy. Okay, hello, Zach. You'll have to forgive Zerdra. I won't. Ever since Brezhik and the Vulcars began this war against us, she's been a little overzealous in her security duties. The problems with the Sith haven't helped things. Zerdra seems to forget that I know how to look after myself. Now, how can I help you? Give me all your money. Problem with the Sith and the public escape pods. I need that. The escape pods? You know, I heard the Sith have been asking around the upper city about them as well. But you don't look like you're with the Sith. Because they I'm with the Republic. They might be spies, Gadden. They might be working for the Sith. Calm down, Zerdra. If the Sith thought we knew anything useful, they'd have a battalion of troops kicking down our door. No, I think this offworlder has his own agenda. Don't worry, I'm not the Sith. I suppose I could tell you what I know. Yay. It's not like it could do any harm to me or my gang. But it might cause problems for the Vulcas, and that's okay in my book. The Vulcas stripped those pods clean within hours after they landed. It's too bad we didn't get there first, considering what my spies reported the Vulcas found. A female Republic officer named Bastila survived the crash. We Bex don't believe in intergalactic slavery, but the Vulcas aren't so picky. They took a prisoner. Uh, she's a slave? What? Normally, the Vulcars would take a captured slave and sell them for a nice profit to Davik, or an off-world slaver. But a Republic officer is no ordinary catch. I still think Bastila is just a Republic officer. That could work to our advantage. Maybe she'll even figure out a way to escape from the Vulcar base on her own. She's too valuable to leave with the Vulcar scum at the base. Brezhik's probably got your Republic friend hidden away somewhere safe until the big swoop race. You'll never find her. Challenge accepted. Supres, what does that have to do with it? I'm afraid your friend has become a pawn in Brezhik's game to take over the lower city. He's offered her up as the Vulcan's share of the prize in the annual Swoop Gang race. By putting up such a valuable prize, Brezhik hopes to win the loyalty of some of the smaller gangs. Their numbers will allow him to finally destroy me and my followers. So how do you propose we go about rescuing Bastila then? Well, we can't fight all the gangs. The only hope you have of rescuing Bastila is to somehow win the big season opener of the Swoop Race. Okay, that makes sense. How do I enter? We might be able to help you with this. If you'd be willing to help us. We both have something to gain here. And much to lose. Uh... What are you proposing? The Swoop Race is for the Lower City Gangs only. Okay. I could sponsor you as a rider for the Hidden Vex this year. If you win the race, you'll win your friend's freedom. But first, you have to do something for me. My mechanics have developed an accelerator for a swoop engine. A bike with the accelerator installed can beat any other swoop out there. Okay. But the Vulcars stole the prototype from us. Those bastards. They plan to use it to guarantee a victory in this year's swoop race. I need you to break into their base and steal it back. Um... How am I supposed to get in there? The Vulcar base won't be easy. 
The front doors are locked tight. But I know someone who might be able to get you in the back way. Mission Vale. Wait. Mission? Gadam, you can't be serious. She's just a kid. How is she supposed to help them with this? Mission's explored every step of every back alley in the lower city. Plus, she knows the undercity sewers better than anyone. If anyone can get inside the Vulcar base, it's her. What can I find she her? She and her Wookiee friend Zalbar are always looking to stir up a little excitement. They like to go exploring in the Undercity, despite the danger. Your best bet is to look for her in the Undercity. But you'll need some way past the Sith Guard post at the elevator. Oh, we already got that. We got some Sith teams. A simple course. disguise might have worked on the Upper City Guard. But the security down here is much tougher. You'll need the proper papers to get past him. Luckily, my gang ambushed one of the Sith patrols headed down to the Undercity. They never made it, and their security papers fell into my hands. Since we're working together now... I suppose I could give them to you in exchange for your uniforms. With the security papers, you won't need a disguise anyway. Actually, that's good. Yeah. What are you gonna do? I like uniforms? to be prepared. Eventually, the Sith are going to try to drive us out of the Undercity. True. Sith disguises might give my people the edge we need in a crucial battle. Oh, okay. okay. Good choice. Thanks for the uniforms. You won't need them with these security papers anyway. I only had one uniform. Now, is there anything else I can do for you? Um, I'll be back. I suggest you hurry. The swoop race is coming up, and we want you to have time to practice before the race. Okay. Yay. Right. Let's go through here. Security door. Open it. Lick it. Oh, butts. It's locked. What the butts? Why the butts is that locked? What the what? Hello. 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 Control room. Ooh. Lock. Ah. The store. <gasps> Yay! Ooh, a cylinder. What? Uh, get those items. Yeah. Really hope that wasn't stealing. Oh my God! Did we reach a dance club? No, we did not. I thought I heard. Oh. Right. Let's leave here. Oh, what the dance club? Hmm. 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 Mm, 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 Need to turn off notifications or something. I don't know how. Ah! Okay. Right. And. We are going to. Go through here. And then we're going to go through the OC. And then uh, that's it for this episode. So, with that, thanks for watching and stay tuned for more Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic.